Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, uh, this is the second video in a series of uh, several videos for the Pilot Edge I ratings, and today we're going to do the I2 uh, rating. Uh, I encourage you to watch uh, the I1 rating video in order to see which uh, add ons I'm using with the SIM. As you can see here, I'm connected to Four Flight, and we are spawned uh, into uh, John Wayne on the West Ramp. And we're now uh, connected to Pilot Edge uh, with the Diamond 62 in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with the call sign Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do right now is uh, file the flight plan for the I2 uh, rating. And uh, as you can see here, this is the I2 rating description. I'm assuming that you have done the reading for it. And the purpose of these videos, as I had mentioned before, uh, is to show you how to do them using the Simeonic G1000 connected to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, or how to use the glass cockpit with all its features and capabilities to make those ratings uh, uh, easy uh, to actually uh, fly. And as you can see here, it says that the flight today is going to be from uh, John Wayne to Palomar. And we're going to shoot the ILS approach for runway 2-4. This is learning objectives to intercept and track the VR radial. Again, uh, you can do that with the six pack. I'm going to utilize G1000 for everything, including loading airways uh, and vector airways. Okay, so we need to file IFR, and uh, it says here that the route for piston aircraft, the Diamond 62 is a piston aircraft, is going to be Victor 23 and uh, the Oscar Charlie November uh, VR. I think it's called Oceanside. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that real quick. And this is to file for an altitude of 5,000. So I'm going to put here IFR. Here's the call sign D62. And the equipment is uh, G, GNSS Transponder Mode Charlie Non RVSM. I file for 180. And uh, departure airport is KSNA. Uh, as you can see here, arrival airport is Hilo Charlie Romeo Quebec. Hilo Charlie Romeo Quebec. We set the file for 5,000. I'm going to discuss why in just a minute. And the route, as we have copied it, here you go, paste. Victor 23 and Oceanside VOR. I'm not going to use custom weather, and if you are doing the ratings, since I've already finished all the ratings and I cannot do them again, under item 13, pilot rating, make sure you check. Uh, the I2 rating uh, tab before you file your flight plan. Okay, it looks like we're set. Uh, departure and arrival airports are correct. Altitude is correct. Everything related to the call sign is correct. And we're going to go ahead and file now. Okay, flight plan is filed uh, successfully. And we come back here uh, to four flight is connected to the SIM, as I had discussed in the first uh, video. And I have the Simeonic G1000 also connected to the simulator. I'm going to go ahead now and uh, start up uh, the aircraft. Uh, not going to follow any uh, stringent or strict uh, uh, procedures, operating procedures. That's not the purpose of this video, as I have mentioned before. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead now and fuel lines are open. And I'm going to... Alternator has to be on for the Diamond 62 for starting. Uh, well, at least for the Diamond 42 which is the one I fly in real life. Master on, fuel pumps on, and strobe lights on. Acknowledge the, the MFD on the G1000. First thing is the lift master on. And we wait for the lift glow light to go off. And we go ahead now and start. And look at here, make sure that everything for the lift engine is in the green. Oil temperature is increasing gradually. Oil pressure looks good and everything looks fine. Go ahead now and right engine master on. Wait, wait for the right glow light on to disappear. And start the right engine. It looks here that everything's pretty much in the green. Right engine oil temperature is increasing gradually. Oil pressure is good. 
Okay, then after we do that, uh, then we're going to turn the avionics on. Fuel pump off. And we can get rid of the caution message for the pitot heat off and turn the pitot heat on for IFR uh, operations. Okay, looks like we're good. First thing we're going to do, like we had discussed before, we're going to grab the ATIS, and after the ATIS, we are going to call for our IFR clearance. So I'm going to now tune in the frequency for the ATIS at John Wayne, which is 126.0. I'll put this on COM2, make sure that COM2 is active and the aircraft Here's COM2 active. I'm going to put 126.0. And uh, I'm using the Simeonic G1000, as you can see here. Which pretty much controls and replaces the one in the aircraft. So 126.0, and we have COM2, and we switch. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information golf. John Wayne Airport, ATIS information golf. 1553 Zulu. Windcom. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 1000. Few clouds at 16000. Temperature 22. Dew point 16. Altimeter 29 or 9 or 3. Arriving and departing runways 20 left, 0 right. Visual approaches in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude. Okay, looks like we're good. We have information golf. And we've copied the address. Altimeter is 29 or 9 or 3. I'm going to set that here on the borrow on the G1000. And just uh, a quick reminder uh, we are using or I am using uh, Rex Weather uh, to insert the actual weather uh, here uh, in the simulator and it's been ins injected already. It's not going to reflect the correct uh, altimeter setting with the right airport elevation until the aircraft starts to move. So we will uh, see that this is going to change when we start moving. Anyways, it's 2993, we have information golf. And I'm going to go ahead now and call to copy my IFR clearance. The uh, frequency for uh, clearance delivery is 118.0. I'm going to put that here. One second. One six thousand. Temperature two two. Two point one six. Altimeter two nine or nine or three. Arriving and dip. Okay, I put one one eight point zero. Tower, Cessna 4124, Juliet, 5000, descending 3000. 4124, Juliet, Burbank Tower, maintain under above 2500 total outside the uh, Van Nuys Delta airspace. And under straight on runway 8, wind 1203, runway 8, Colonel Lynn. Okay, maintain under above 2500 total outside the Van Nuys airspace. And runway 8, clear to land, 24 Juliet. And good morning, SoCal Departures, Legion 354 is with you, 2600. Climb the departures, departure. Legion 354 said, uh, SoCal departure at our contact. Okay, so like we discussed before, the format is craft, uh, CRAFT. I encourage you to go back to the first training video to understand what these stand for. And I'm going to go ahead and call now to copy the IFR clearance. Again, our destination is Palomar. And that's it. And we have information golf. John Wayne Delivery, good morning. Diamond Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India. Uh, ready to copy IFR clearance to Palomar with Gulf. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India, John Wayne clearance cleared to the Palomar Airport on departure flight heading 175 for vectors to join Victor 23. That is file. Maintain 5000. Departure frequency 128.1, squawk 6313. Clear to Palomar, uh, fly heading 175, radar Victor. Uh, Victor uh, for Victor 23, then as filed. Climate in 5000, departure frequency 128.1, squawk 6313, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India, you're back is correct. And if you didn't advise the information, uh, golf is current, you can expect right to zero right. 
we'll expect to zero right, and we do have the alpha, the alpha delta omega. Legion three fifty four, climb and maintain one five thousand. One five thousand from Legion three fifty four. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now. Uh, switch to COM one. It doesn't have an active frequency in order to uh, set up everything and without any interruptions from uh, the comms. So now we're in COM one, and things should be quieter. All right. So let's think about what we have here, and we need to set everything up. Uh, we we'll clear to Palomar. Uh, so let's go ahead now insert the flight plan. This is the flight plan from before. You open the uh, flight plan and then press menu and then press delete flight plan. And we put KSNA. Sorry, there you go. And then after that, I would like to insert Vector 23. Let me talk about this for a second. Uh, it's a radial, uh, but I'm not going to utilize this here. I'm going to use the G1000 capabilities where I can actually insert that Vector away. So you can see here Vector 23 is right to uh, uh, the south and the west of uh, John Wayne. And we filed Victor 23 to Oceanside VR, which is right here. So let's go ahead first and put this here, KSNA, and then Victor 23, and then Oce Oceanside, and the destination. And if you look here, this is what it looks like. Obviously, uh, now when we get around Oceanside right before we will be uh, requesting vectoring for ILS for runway 24. Now, since I'm going to intercept this, I have no idea where he's going to tell me to intercept it, right? Because he could have me intercept uh, the Victor Airway before this waypoint that was inserted by 4 Flight Krause, as you can see. So in order to be on the safe side, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to put this point mids, which is also on the Victor Airway. Get rid of Krause completely. And I'm going to show you how to do this in the Garmin G1000. So after KSNA, I'm going to put mids. Here we go. Okay, mids, enter. We're good. And then you go to the next space and you click on menu press on menu and you, you go down to load airway and here's vector 23 you load it and it's going to ask you where do you want to exit that airway well I'm, I'm going to exit that airway at uh, Oceanside so I'm going to put Oceanside here let's go up here's Oceanside VR enter and load it automatically owns loads all the waypoints uh, from the first point that we inserted until ocean site that are, are on the Victor airway without having to enter them manually one by one. It's very critical to know this because if you file the Victor airway uh, in your flight plan, be assumed that you have inserted all the waypoints on that Victor airway in your flight plan because they can give you a clearance to go direct to any waypoint on that Victor airway. So that's how you insert it and then after ocean site we have our destination Palomar, which is Kilo Charlie Romeo, Quebec. Here you go. Kilo Charlie Romeo Quebec. Here's Palomar. Enter. I will change now the CDI <coughs> to uh, GPS mode and also one more thing we need to discuss here just to be on the safe side I know that I will be navigating on the Victor Airway uh, and we can use the Oceanside VOR and the Oceanside VOR frequency is 115.3 so I'm going to put this one on nav 1 115.3 
0.3, make it active, and it's identified, as you can see here, Oceanside, and my understanding is that this vector airway, the track for it is 124 magnetic. Okay, so I'm going to put 124 uh, on the CDI under course. 124. And that should also represent the, uh, the direction or the track that I'm going to take into uh, Oceanside uh, VOR, uh, as you can see here. So 124 is simply uh, radial uh, 304 inbound into Oceanside. So it's radial 304 inbound, which is the course is 124. And it's a good idea to set the course according to the direction you're flying into the VOR. So this way, if you're going to utilize the autopilot, it knows that to intercept that course. Anyways, it's good to have it as backup, but we're going to use the, as you can see here, the GPS in order to fly our route. Now, you remember that we're going to be given vectors. We're going to fly a heading 170. So let's go ahead and set the heading bug to 170. According to the clearance, uh, let me double check again the heading. 175, my correction, here you go, 175. So we're going to fly heading 175 after departure, after reach 400 feet AGL. We're going to turn the heading 175. Here we go. That's it already. But we're going to be given headings to intercept Victor 23. So if we go back again to 4 flight real quick and think about it, I'm going to be coming out of the airport somewhere to the south. Right. Then he's going to probably have me intercept the Victor Airway, maybe between um, Bal Bal Balbo and Kraus, so somewhere somewhere there. It's no problem. So what I'm going to do is I come here in the flight plan and that Garmin 1000, go to Kraus, the second point, and I'm going to say menu, activate leg. Here we go. And that is the leg uh, I am going to intercept and if I intercept it I'm intercepting Victor 23. You can see that by activating that lag it's highlighted on the map on the handset so let me uh, zoom in a little and if I can put the little cursor here you go or, or I can even intercept the one before it doesn't matter I can uh, I will be given a heading to intercept and I'll show you how to do this in the gun. Okay, so we said here uh, We have a minimum bottom in from a previous approach. We want to delete that. So I'm going to go to t Timer and reference values and go down here and get rid of this Okay We'll program it for the approach in just a second. Okay, so it looks like uh, if we go back to the clearance again and we set everything up I have uh, the heading set, I have the flight plan set, I climb 5,000, so that means I need to set 5,000 on the altitude. Here you go, 5,000 set with altitude knob, you have the QNH correct. And uh, finally, I need now to set the comp frequencies. Like I told you before, I really like to put the tower and the approach frequencies on COM1, so let me, let me set that up, 128.1. 128.1 right here and we go back to four flight real quick and we'll see that tower uh, for runway 20 right it will just explain that is 126.8 so I'm going to put 126.8 and you are going to direct to Mison So I have 126.8 for tower, and I have 128.1 for approach on COM1. Go to COM2, I'm going to put ground, and ground frequency is for uh, west ramp is 132. Good morning, TBM 593 Victor, uh, Victor, 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 with Delta. Victor, 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 Chino, ground, good morning, your turn's on request to me. 
Okay, so 132.25 uh, for ground west is Uncom 2, and Uncom 1 I have tower, and I have uh, uh, approach, oh, I'm sorry, departure frequency. Lindbergh Tower, Diamond 990 Alpha Victor, holding short runway 27. Lindbergh 990 Alpha Victor, Lindbergh Tower, good morning, wind 320 at 4, runway 27, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 270 Alpha Victor. Five, nine or five nine three nine vectors cleared to the Camarillo Airport on departure flighting two six zero. Waiter vectors to Paradise, then as filed. Maintain four thousand. Expect eight thousand five minutes after departure. Departure frequency one three five point four. Squawk four five five one. ATBM five nine three nine vector cleared to the Camarillo Airport by heading two six zero vectors Paradise as filed. On four thousand, expect eight thousand and five minutes after departure. Departure frequency is read five decimal four, squawk four five five one. North Channel Victory back is correct and information Delta Scar. Right, we have Delta three nine big. So we ground Cirrus uh, one to two Alpha Juliet West Ramp, uh, ready for taxi to VFR to the east. South. One thousand. Few clouds at one six thousand. Temperature two two. Dew point one six. Altimeter two nine or nine or three. Arriving and departing runways 20 left, 20 right. Visual approaches in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information off. John Wayne Airport, A Tissin. Okay. I'm glad we still have information Gulf. I had to listen to it again in case uh, the uh, ATIS information had changed. In that case, so we're going to go ahead now and call for our taxi clearance. We're going to call ground. We're on COM2 right now. 132. Go Missouri Alpha Victor. Contact Soka Departure. Have a good flight. Go into Soka Departure. Have a good day, Missouri Alpha Victor. John Wayne Ground, Diamond Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India over at the West Ramp. Ready to taxi with Gulf. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India, join ground runway 20 right, taxi via Bravo Kilo. 20 right via Bravo Kilo, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India. Okay, so we got our taxi clearance, we're good to go. Let's go. So call departure, Diamond 990 Alpha Victor at 1100 for 2000. Number 990 Alpha Victor, so call departure, runner contact, let me maintain 15000, clear right mission bay, join Victor 23 years in the navigation. Climb maintain 15000 to you, Mission Bay, and resume no navigation. We off sector. Hey, Good morning. It's going IFR, um, and, uh, but I'm changing my thing. I, I filed with the piece. Taxi light on, the brakes. And over 416 kilo, you're cutting out. You're looking for your IFR clearance, but you're changing something? Uh, yeah, I, uh, is, that, is that any better? I'm, uh, I changed to an Epic instead of a PC-12. That's all if you could change that flight plan. Yep, I can do that. As long as Tower Cirrus, 1 to 2 Alpha Juliet, uh, shorter 2 5, ready for departure. Tower 1 to 2 Alpha Juliet, Center West Tower 1 Com, Army 2 5, clear for takeoff, proceed on course. 2 5, clear for takeoff, proceed on course. 1 to 2 Alpha Juliet, thanks. i just show you here, taxiing to uh, only 20 right via Bravo Kilo. Next right is actually Juliet to escape that one. And of course, during the taxi, you're supposed to do the taxi checks. Uh, check in the compass, check in the AHARs here, uh, the brakes, engine instruments, etc. These are the secondary holding point for, I think, CAT-2 and CAT-3 ILS operations. And that's not the holding short. We're going to go all the way to Kilo as instructed. Kilo Crown, TBM 593 Victor at transit state of Delta, ready to ask for departure. 593 Victor, Chino Ground, runway 26 right, taxi via Alpha Papa, and cross runway 200 Alpha. At Alpha Papa, cross 200 Alpha, or 
And we hold short here. There we go. We get the aircraft. Legion 354, contact LA Center 133.2 again. Low lights on. Fuel pop on. Flapless takeoff in the diamond. Check again the lateral and the vertical. Looks like the vertical is set, 5,000 feet, we're instructed. Clearance, uh, epic for once, it's you um, uh, Have my clearance, please, to Nogales. Lateral 175 yep, heading. On. Oh, sorry about that, I wasn't sure. Looks like we're good. Ah, and the squawk is incorrect. We did not set the transponder squawk, so we have to go back. That was a big mistake, but we're going to correct it right now. 6313. Legion 354, let's order. Number 4162 Kilo is cleared to the Oscar Lima Sierra Airport via direct BARD, direct Judith, then as filed, just maintain 5,000, expect 1, 3,000, one zero minutes after departure, departure frequency 125.55 and squawk 5711. And I'm cleared um, to uh, Nogales or um, direct Bar, then Judith, five initially up to one three thousand five point five five of the squawk is five seven one one and four one six two Kilo Reback is correct. Information golf is current and you can expect runway two six for departure. Oh, okay. Um I'm uh, I I have golf and I'm expecting yeah, FBO. Okay, so now we're another one that you'd prefer. We switch to COM well, one. <laughs> COM one. It's a question. Uh, if I was going to take one of the threes, I'd probably have to back taxi it, wouldn't I? Uh, yeah, pretty much everything else is a pain. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll go from two six. Roger. Chino Tower, TBM five and three nine Victor, hold them six at pop already. Number five, Atlanta, three nine, Victor, Chino, Tower, Wincom, runway two six, right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway two six, right, three nine, Victor. John Wayne Tower, Domino Tel Alpha, Delta Alpha, India, holding short, runway two zero, right, a kilo, ready for departure, IFR. Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, India, John Wayne Tower, Wincom, runway two zero, right, a kilo, cleared for takeoff. Two zero, right, a kilo, clear for takeoff, Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, India. Okay, so, gonna go ahead and enter the runway now. Approach sector is clear. Right side is clear. Approaching runway two Battle zero right. Cirrus one to two Alpha Julia is type SR twenty two. I can pick up via far flight following to Santa Barbara. Entered runway two zero right. One thousand six hundred fifteen meters Alpha remaining. Alpha Julia Santa Barbara approach squawk four seven four six maintain VFR. Four seven four six and maintain VFR. Drop Julia. Well, I take a power set. Airspeed alive, engine instruments all green, and rotate at 78. Number 300 Victor, contact, so got a partial, have a good flight. Departure, good day, 300 Victor. So got a partial, good morning, BM5, 9300 Victor, climb to 1,000, 4,000. Rotate. Number 5, 9, 300 Victor, so got a partial, rotor contact, climb maintain 8,000. 8,000, 300 Victor. Autopilot on, it's kind of maintained. Uh, the roll and pitch. Gear up, positive rate. Lights off. Choose the power. Number 122 Alpha Juliet's radar contact. Uh, about 8 miles AGL. south of the San Luis Airport, climbing through 5 or at 5,600 feet. And you said you're going uh, via far to Santa Barbara, is that right? Vertical Hi, for a minute. We'd like to do some practice approaches down there for uh, 3 Alpha Juliet's and position check. I want to do Alpha Juliet. Roger, maintain VFR. The uh, let's make it to Santa Maria altimeter two nine nine five. Nine five. Thank you. Two Alpha Juliet. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India. Connect so Alpha departure. Good flight. South Cal departure. Have a good day. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India. Number three nine Victor. Turn right. Direct Pomona. Resume navigation. Direct Pomona. Nav United Victor. South Cal departure. Good morning. Diamond Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India. One thousand four hundred for five thousand. Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, India, so kind of our at our contact. Hotel Alpha, 
Alpha Delta Alpha. And do you just maintain heading 175 for now? I'll turn on course for you in just a few miles. Maintain 175 for now. Alpha Delta Alpha. Delta, Alpha you. Okay, 175. Agent uh, 354, cross my and I maintain bubble 240. And probably do a flight level change now, which means it's going to maintain 100 knots. Uh, you have a ground, hello, it's. Uh, until we reach the target altitude. Golf, I'm at the FBO looking for taxi. 4462 Julia Kilo Yuma Ground, runway 26, taxi via Zulu 2, Zulu, Alpha 2, Alpha 1, cross runway 26 on Zulu. Oh, okay. Uh, Zulu 2, Zulu. Alpha 2, Alpha 1, cross 26. That's for runway 26. Amazing view. Alpha 1, 6, you look here, Roger. Thanks. Alpha Delta Alpha India, turn a left heading a one zero zero. Join vector twenty three resume navigation. Turn left heading a one zero zero and join vector twenty three on navigation. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India. Number zero Alpha Victor, verify you're in the climb to one five thousand. I was taking all the parts. I you never gave altitude change clearance, so I've been at fifteen hundred, but I can do make that happen. Yeah, well, believe when you checked on uh, with me, I give you uh, up to one five thousand. Copy, must have missed that. Sorry about that. The officer to go to 15000. Okay, so all I did was I turned the heading back to 100. The aircraft's going to turn there. And as I see the course is coming and the CDI is coming close, I'm just going to press the nav button on the autopilot and it's going to intercept that leg that I had planned to intercept, which is highlighted uh, in magenta, as you can see on the ANSID map. You can see the altitude light is flashing. The aircraft is capturing 5,000 feet. And the workload is almost minimal as we are utilizing pretty much the features of the Garmin 1000. I mean, obviously, if you use also the MFD, this is just the PFD. There are much more fancier features I'm going to introduce in future videos. But for now, let's see you only have one iPad, obviously. Uh, most of us only have oh, one okay. iPad. Good morning, Vision Jet 77 Charlie Mike to Santa Monica. November 7, 7, Charlie, um, Mike, General Inference. Uh, 7, Charlie, Mike, uh, IFR to Santa Monica. November 7, Charlie, Mike, Roger. What is your aircraft type equipment suffix? Uh, we're a Vision Jet. Uh, uh, it's Lincoln. True. Your clearance on request, am I? And uh, Santa Barbara approach uh, to Alpha Julia. We have our approach request uh, whenever you're ready. Go to Alpha Julia. Stand by. I'll be back with you in a minute. And you can see the magenta course is starting to move closer. Once it passes uh, the closer dot on the CDI, I'm going to press nav. Here we go. I'm going to press nav on the autopilot. So now autopilot is active, GPS mode for nav, and altitude is 5,000. And the aircraft is going to capture. The number uh, 2 Alpha Julia, Sarah Roach Cross. We are DME uh, runway 25 from Gaviota. Fly plan, I'm going to activate the next leg. Here we go. 2 Alpha Julia, Roger, I have your request. Ground 62 to Number 416, Julia Kilo, go ahead. Um, you gave me permission to cross 26, but I also have to cross 17, is that okay? Just connect this Number for a six, second. Number 16, Julia Kilo, cross runway 17 on an Alpha 2. Don't want to get a citation. Yeah, I can only give you one crossing instruction at a time, so I was waiting for you to uh, cross the first one and then go busy doing something else. That's quite right, actually.
November 77 Charlie Mike, John Wayne clearance cleared to the Santa Monica Airport. My departure flying 175 for Eddie Vectors to Seal Beach. Victor 459 darts direct, maintain 5,000. Expect 8,000, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 128.1, squawk 4377. Santa Monica, Charlie Mike, clear to Santa Monica on, on departure, fly 175, radar vectors to Seal Beach, Victor 459, and uh, to darts and direct. At 5,000, expect, expect 8 after 5, arch frequency 128.1, and squawk 4377. Number 7, Charlie Mike, crew back, is correct. Yes. Number 3, Niner Victor, contact, so call for 4.2. 342, 3-9er Victor. So approach, good afternoon, TBM, 5-9er, 3-9er Victor, level 8,000. Or 5-9er, 3-9er Victor, so call approach, Roger, Burbank, altimeter 2 9 9 5 9 9 5 3 9 Victor. Allegiant 354, contact LA Center 134.65, good okay. aim. Stable now. So adjust the altitude, make it vertical speed up. 200 feet to 100 feet per minute, and it's going to capture it at the altitude again. So be ready to take over in case something crazy goes with the autopilot. But it looks like everything is back uh, in order. Nice clearance, Mooney 815 Papa Alpha, good morning. Ray 15 Papa Alpha, then is clearance 20. Center the heading block. Mooney 815 Papa Alpha, request clearance to Opsnards. Okay. Or A15 Papa Alpha, then as clearance, so you said you're requesting a fraud Oxnard, is that right? 12015. Uh, positive, 815 Papa. Roger, your clearance on request. Stand by. Legion 354, LA Center, Roger, Class Clar, and maintain 13,250 knots, Las Vegas, Alpha, summit at 3021. Legion 54, thanks. South call departure, Diamond Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha India, request to uh, get off the frequency, two minutes, grab the ATIS, and we'll be right back. Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha India, Roger, and report back. Welcome, Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha India. 120.15, go to COM2, 120.15. holding short of two. Or 4162 Kilo Yuma Tower, runway 26, clear for takeoff. If you have two. Bye. Uh, 4162 Cam, sorry, you're breaking up, say again. Zulu, wind calm, visibility 10, sky condition clear, temperature 21, dew point 12, altimeter 2993, arriving and departing runway 24. Visual approaches in use. Read backhaul runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, India. Okay, India, 2993. Carl's Bad McClellan Palomar Airport. A to information, India. 1553 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 21. Okay. 2.12. Altimeter 2993. Arriving and departing. Six thousand five hundred. Okay, so it's back to one three four point two one. and squawk is five one three three uh, one five Papa Alpha. Number five Papa Alpha. Re back is correct. South call departure. Dominant Delta Alpha. Delta Alpha. Yeah, back on the frequency. Plus to actually make it to LA Center one two five point two seven. The command stepped on somebody. Number zero Alpha Victor. Contact LA Center one two five point two seven. 125.270 Alpha Victor. Uh, South Cal departure, Diamond Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India, back at the frequency. Hotel Delta, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India, so kind of for charging contact, so kind of for now, 119.6, get in. 119.6, have a good day, Delta Alpha Delta Alpha India. And uh, number 122 Alpha Julia, destination eight is uh, the Gambino VOR at or above 6,000. The VOR runway 25 practice approach is approved, maintain VFR. All right, across Gambino at or above 6,000, and uh, practice approach for return VOR runway 25. Jump to it. 
South Cal approach, Domino Tel Aviv, Delta Alpha, India, level at 5000. We have India. I would like to request Victor and Fireless runway 24. Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, India, South Cal approach, Rod, you can expect Vector's Alice runway 24, approach, depart ocean side, heading 080. We'll expect it, and depart ocean side, heading 080, Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, India. Okay, so he told us and to expect And uh, November 9090 off of Victor, so Cal, correction, Los Angeles Center, Roger, the uh, Los Angeles altimeter 29904. Put the heading box 080 after ocean side. He wants us to fly that heading. We go ahead now to procedure, select approach, and ILS. 60 to kilo, contact human departure. Good night. Vector. I would departure, 60 to kilo, thank you. And let's put this one also here on the. Uh, departure, hello, this is. ILS 24. 1600. Vectors to final. Add to route. Number 416, Kilo, give a departure, radar contact, you're uh, breaking up again, climb and maintain 13,000. Okay, to breathe the approach. Climb and maintain 13,000, six. Touchdown zone elevation is 326, so I have 1326, I'd like to write those three numbers down, hold on. So 1326, and the minimum is 527, so 527, and 500 to minimum is 1,000. Twenty-seven. Here are the three numbers that I discussed in the previous video. Done. We're getting closer to Oceanside. Uh, this is the ILS or localizer runway two four one zero eight point seven, and the minimum against five two seven. I'm going to put it. Legion three fifty four contact the Las Vegas approach one two five point under. Put five thirty in the bar over here. Five thirty. Enter. Only load it. And you can see that. Uh, good morning, John Lane. Uh, zero eight point seven. November eight two eight. Romeo X-ray. Romeo eight two eight. Romeo X-ray. Joining France. It's on our quest, Tommy. It's been tuned in already. If we have one final approach course is already done for us or by the government one thousand. I don't have to worry about that. And I can see here that that inoperable table does not apply well, to straight in. I list two four. Fifty four. That begins to be fly level one six zero for. One, That's for an operative light. 354, Las Vegas approach, Roger. You can expect the uh, visual approach runway 26 left, Las Vegas altimeter 3021. Information Romeo's current descent via the Cape X6 arrival. And we'll just come via the Cape X6 arrival and expect runway 26 left, and we have information Romeo for Alicia 354. Okay, we're at Ocean so Side. We have to turn Romeo the heading now. Clear to the Burbank Airport. So on departure, First sliding heading. 175 at about Ventures to Seal Beach, then as south. Maintain 5,000. Expect 6,000 five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 128.1 and squawk 3303. Here comes the Microsoft uh, fun oscillations. Okay, uh, Fly at November 828, Romeo X-ray is fly runway heading, radar vectors, Sierra Lima, India, 5,000, expect 6,000, five minutes after departure. And Let's procedure, frequency 121, and vectors to fly. 3303, and this is a pilot edge rating flight. Great, Romeo X-ray, roger that on the I-3, and the departure heading is actually 175. Yeah, I missed that. I wrote it right and didn't give it to you correctly. 175 on the heading, initially. Number 6 you look here over for your direct part. Uh, negative, I'm still flying runway heading, waiting for instructions. 6 you look here. Number 6 you look here, the approach. clearance was to be a, not a we cleared to your destination via direct part, so turn around. Below 960. Okay. So at 960, we have to turn off the autopilot. Sorry, ground version, jet center, Tim Charlie Mike, uh, taxi with Gulf from ATI East. 477 Charlie Mike, join ground runway 20 uh, right, taxi via Alpha Lima, hold short runway 20 left, collect tower there. 20 right via Alpha Lima, hold short 20 left, send Charlie Mike. Number 390 Victor, contact the point where group approach 124.7. 247 390 Victor. I was very busy frequency. I activated uh, Victor's to final in the Garmin when I started flying a headache because I'm being vectored for the ILS. Let me go approach it afternoon, TPM 599, Victor, level 8,000. Missed approach, climb to 3,000, heading 245, and ocean vortex radial 145. Or 599, Victor, camera approach, or correction, point Magoo approach, Roger. 
Uh, depart Fillmore, heading 230 vectors, visual approach 08. I will depart uh, Fillmore, heading 230 for 300 vectors. All right, uh, missed approach. Also, uh, I briefed it real quick, but it was too loud, and it's already in the GPS. Uh, I'm going to put in the missed approach altitude one sec after the glide slope, as explained before. And we have to disconnect the autopilot. About a couple approaches not applicable for flow 960. This must be due to some oscillations with the glide slope signal that makes the autopilot go crazy. Uh, so we got to make sure that we disconnect at 960. So I'm going to put that number here, too. So... 960 and I'm gonna 960 to get I just read your bad sorry about that oh not a problem look at Palomar number two Alpha Juliet contact the Santa Barbara town now one one hundred point seven 19.7 to Alpha Juliet. Atlantic is on the left. Portrait under Victor to set a maintain 4,000. 4,000 to United Victor. Most likely we're gonna exit on Alpha 5 and go to Atlantic Aviation. Santa Barbara Tower, good afternoon. November 1 to 2 Alpha Juliet, 6,000 on the VOR, on a 2 5 approach. From 1 to 2 Alpha Juliet, Santa Barbara Tower, wind calm. Let's put the tower frequency. Or runway. Tower is 118.6, put it to standby. Com 1, 118.6. And ground is 121.8, I'll put it on Com 2. Number 2 off, uh, Roger, runway uh, 25, turn land. Runway 25, for the land, turn off, Juliet. Remember, 300 Victor, camera, you're at your uh, 11 o'clock and 6 miles report in sight. Airport in sight, 300 Victor. Vice 300 Victor, clear to visual approach, runway 8, contact camera at town now, 128.2. Clear to visual, over to tower, good day, 300 Victor. Ben Nystron, Mooney 815, Papa Alpha, position is uh, signature in the east with uh, Yankee, request taxi. Number 815 Papa Alpha Van Ice Ground Runway 16 left taxi via Bravo. 16 left via Bravo 815 Papa Alpha. Allegiance 354 to direct to NIPS, so resume the arrival. And direct NIPS, this will be arrival for Allegiance 354. Come here, Tower. Good afternoon, Tower. Energy 900 Victor. Defense 5500 for the visual 08. We'll stop, Juliet. We're 593 Victor. Come here, Tower. Wind 070 runway 8, clear to land. Victor. That looks like the localizer frequency is identified, as you can see here in Nav 1. And we have the correct course, 245. Looks good. Missed approach is loaded. Everything looking good. Looking at the uh, altitudes of the obstacles ahead of me, it looks like I'm higher. Uh, so we're good for now. Uh -huh. John Wayne Ground, uh, morning November 828, Romeo X-ray with information golf. We're ready for taxi at Hilo on the east uh, ramp. 828, Romeo X-ray, John Wayne Ground, runway 2. Can you accept runway 20 left or do you need runway 208? Uh, two zero left will be fine. All right, two eight Romeo X ray Roger. Uh, just verify your squawk for me and check three three zero three. Then runway two zero left taxi via Alpha Lima and give way to a Vision Jet left to right northbound on Alpha at this time. Okay, uh, stand by while I change my squawk code and I'm cleared Alpha Lima to runway two zero left and give way to the track. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India, turn around heading 180 to center, maintain 3,600. 
Right, heading 180 to center, maintain 3600, Hotel Alpha Delta, behind you. Hotel Alpha Delta, Alpha Delta, Alpha continue the right turn, heading 210 and intercept the runway 24 localizer. 210 and intercept the localizer, Hotel Alpha Delta, behind you. 210, heading. Now here's a heading bug and descent to 3600, set. Hit 3600. Vertical speed and reduce the power. Something's wrong with the uh, heading capture feature right now. It's causing problems with the simulator. We're ready to take over. Any second now, reduce the power. And you set to intercept the localizer. Sailing with ground, Cessna Charlie Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Indian November, uh, transient parking, quest southbound departure. Uh, ready for taxi with information, India. So heading correct. Charlie Fox, uh, truck start to India, November, San Luis, ground runway 29er, taxi via Alpha. Gonna just have the localizer runway 29er, taxi via Alpha, Charlie Fox, 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 start to India, November. Charlie, tower vision, jet center, seven, Charlie, back on, make sure it's to the left. Warrior 77 Charlie and Mike, Charlie Tower, cross runway 20 left, runway 20 right, clear for takeoff. Cross 20 left, clear for takeoff, 20 right, 7 Charlie Mike. Train out of victory, safe position. Uh, sure, final zero eight. Remember, uh, train out of victory, you're uh, not in sight. Okay, we're on the localizer, but we're not, we don't have clearance for the approach yet. Train out of victory, uh, actually. Looks like I lined up, up with Oxnard here. I'll be uh, climbing to the southeast here to join the final Prince 408. My bad, 39 Victor. Good to Victor, Roger. I'll give uh, Oxnard Tower a call. Hello, Tell Alpha Delta, Alpha India, cleared RS runway 24. Cleared RS runway 24, Tell Alpha Delta, Alpha India. Now I can press the approach button and start descending. Allegiance 354, contact the Las Vegas approach 135.0. Uh, right. 135.0. Gear down. Lights on. 1162 kilo, contact the Albuquerque Center 128.45. Have a good one. Have a good one, Albuquerque 128. Set the best approach yeah, altitude. Best approach altitude is 3000. So I'm going to set that right now. Hello, Las Vegas approach on Allegiance 354, with you level 8000. Allegiance 354, Las Vegas approach, Roger. Okay, it's the aircraft. 7, 7, Charlie, my contact, so cut departure, good flight. Labs approach. 7, Charlie, my departure, thank you. So cut departure, vision jet 7, 7, Charlie, my 2,000, climb Terrain ahead. Over 7, 7, Charlie, Mike, so cut departure, radar contact, climb maintain 8,000. Climb maintain 8,000, 7, Charlie, Mike. Right, Over 7, Charlie, Mike, you can turn right direct to Seal Beach, resume on navigation. Right turn, Drake Seal Beach, uh, on the Alpha, Charlie Mike. Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, India, contact Palmar Tower now, 118.6, good day. 118.6, uh, how good day, Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, India. Yeah. Palomar Tower, uh, good morning, Diamond Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, India, and ILS runway 24 for full stop. Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, India, Palomar Tower, good morning, wind 230 at 3, runway 24, clear to land. Only two four clear to land. Hotel Alpha Delta India. Okay. So now we have the call outs. Camera Hotel Tower, uh, TBM 593. Landing checklist has been uh, done. Gear down, three greens. Lights on. Remember, uh, Fuel 5 on. Victor, I see you there now. Runway 8, clear to land. 
And Quick one, zero eight, two, power set. Region 354 to center maintain, 6,000. Lapse approach, we'll configure. Six, thousand, Landing checklist completed. Then that's Tower Mooney 815 Papa Alpha is uh, holding short 16 left at Charlie, ready for departure. Don't worry, 15 Papa Alpha, then nice Tower Runway 16 left, clear for takeoff. 16 left, clear for takeoff, 815 Papa Alpha. This one was a very good example, it's kind of tricky. He told me to intercept the localizer. I intercepted it, but I did not activate approach because I was not cleared for the ILS. I was Legion 354, turn left, heading 350 to center maintain 5000. 350, Three mile final uh, runway two four. Seven Charlie Mike has Lima and uh, it's like the VR alpha above. And we could go ahead and put this down. And every seven Charlie Mike, yeah, I got a couple of frequencies to go before uh, that, so just uh, advise the next controller. Okay. Call. Agent uh, 354 is your rollout on the heading of 350. The airport will be at your 9 to 10 o'clock on 15 miles. Report okay. inside. Yeah, we have the fuel inside. Agent 354, Clippers, report runway 26 left. Clippers, report 26 left, Agent 354. Five hundred. Tower Tower, TBM five nine three hundred Victor, uh clears your way to Bravo Transit. And nine sixty have disconnect autopilot. Okay. Disconnect Roger, autopilot. Taxi, parking of the uh Foxtrot this frequency every day. Going by uh Bravo Foxtrot on this frequency good day, three hundred Victor. And pitch up like I said before. Soka departure, Mooney eight one five, Papa Alpha. Just left uh, Van Nuys. 1,800, climbing 4,000. Ray 15, Papa Alpha, so got a bunch of radar contact, I'm maintain 6,000. 6,000, 815, Papa Alpha. And Ray 15, Papa Alpha, giving you a very strange reback on your squawk. It uh, shows a dash and then 10403. Okay, affirmative, I will uh, check that. It's uh, confirm it's 5133. Uh, yeah, it should be 5133, but uh, it shouldn't even be possible to put in the number that's showing them. I'm wondering if it what uh, simulator are you flying? <laughs> it's uh, x -plane plus uh, custom hardware that I actually built, so that uh, might be the reason here. Uh, okay, it's fixed now. Are you sure it's squawking 5133? Uh, thanks for pointing that out. It will have to Just like we anticipated. Can I get off on Alpha 5 to the left? It's coming up. Flaps up, fuel pump off. We get the runway. And I remember 5 Pop Alpha, did you have a, a approach request to Oxnard? Uh, we prefer the ILS 25 uh, approach for Oxnard 815 Papa. Right, 15 Papa Alpha, Roger. You can expect that. I'll have a turn for you in just a while or so. Can we stop right here? Okay, we expect the ILS 25 and uh, expect to turn soon. 515 Alpha. Palmer Tower, then we tell Alpha Delta Alpha India clear runway 24 at Alpha 5. Request taxi to Atlantic Aviation. And Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India, Roger Taxi to parking via Alpha, this frequency, good day. To, to parking via Alpha, this frequency, have a good day, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha India. Okay. And uh, good morning, uh, John Wayne Tower, November 828, Romeo. 
X-rays ready for takeoff. Two zero left. Right, 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 Leaving 4,000, turn right 290 for November 5, Alpha. Allegiance 354, contact the Las Vegas Tower 1, 1, 9, 0. 0. Go ahead, Tower, Allegiance 354. Okay, so uh, shutdown procedure, all lights off. Excuse me, Tower 1, 1, 9, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. Right, we, uh, all lights off except for the strobes, which is equivalent to the beacon light and the diamond. P2 heat off. Uh, avionics off. I'm gonna leave the PFD on. It's supposed to wait two minutes to charge the engine until uh, uh, it cools down. We don't get creep. Well, we're not gonna do that now, and then we'll go ahead and now shut down the uh, left engine. Shut down the right engine. And then turn off the strobe light, master, and the alternators. And that's it, that's the end of the flight. And I'm gonna go ahead now, uh, go to the pilotage client, disconnect the mode Charlie. And uh, we can actually disconnect from the network and uh, we can debrief real quick. Okay, so I'll come back here to the map and I need to talk about a few things that happened during this approach. Maybe uh, it would be a good idea to turn on the uh, breadcrumbs. And yes, here are the breadcrumbs. We can show how we uh, flew this flight. Okay, so we took off 400 feet AGL. We turned to, to the our sign heading. And after that, we were giving uh, another heading to intercept Victor 23. We intercepted the leg using the uh, autopilot. Autopilot went crazy. Uh, again, it's not completely reliable. Sometimes things go crazy. In that case, you need to be ready to take over to maintain altitude and heading uh, barrier cle clearance. Otherwise, you would probably fail the rating. Uh, most of the time, it's uh, completely reliable. I don't know what happened today, but with the, all the patches that Microsoft releases, there are always surprises. But if you can take over the aircraft, and then after that, I was able to activate the autopilot again. So on Vector 23, we grabbed the ATIS. He told us to fly uh, heading 080, uh, depart Oceanside VOR heading 080. When I got to Oceanside VOR, I uh, set the heading to 080. And then uh, we maintained 5,000, less assigned altitude. We briefed the approach real quick. This is a short flight. I would have actually probably briefed the approach on the ground uh, had this been a real flight. Uh, since I know that this is the one I'm going to expect, if I look at the TAF, uh, the weather forecast for the destination airport, uh, that's the way to go about it. Okay, then after that he told us to turn to continue heading, turning right to heading 210, I believe, to intercept the localizer. And this is very tricky. Uh, sometimes actually it would give you a heading that would take you through the localizer completely, and some people get tempted to intercept the localizer without a clearance, and they fail the rating. You can't do that. Last assigned heading is last assigned heading. Even if you fly and over and you uh, pass the localizer to the other side, well, your clearance uh, gave you a heading. You are not cleared to intercept the localizer here. Usually you get the last heading you're given, you get clearance to uh, for the ILS approach. Intercept the localizer and clear for the ILS approach. This did not happen here. He gave me a heading and told me to intercept the localizer only and did not clear me for the ILS approach. So I intercepted the localizer still using the heading bug. And I did not uh, press the approach uh, button on the autopilot because I did not want to descend with the glide slope in case my clearance came in late. Uh, it would have been very tricky uh, to intercept the glide slope from above. It's not the proper procedure usually intercepted from below. Uh, but he uh, gave me the clearance for the ILS approach right when I was on the glide slope, so it was perfect timing. And at that point, I pressed approach. I configured the aircraft for landing. And uh, I started sending with the glide slope. Uh, and I disconnected the autopilot according to the approach chart. Uh, below a certain altitude, 
that was specified on the chart, and this is probably because uh, there's issues with the signal from the glass slope that would confuse the autopilot. We flew the wrist manually, and uh, we had uh, all the frequencies ready, the tower frequency and the ground frequency set as standby and COM1, and uh, ground frequency and COM2 just in case, and we had the uh, the airport diagram ready also in full flight, where you can have it from Sky Vector or from whatever. Uh, we knew that we expected which uh, taxiway we're going to exit on uh, off of the runway after landing. Again, uh, there's a lot of work here. The workload uh, with uh, IFR is very heavy. Uh, that's why I think if you learn how to use the G1000 and utilize it, it will reduce that workload, as you can see on a flight like this. Uh, instead of having to uh, fly manually and brief the approach and do all these things. There are a lot of things irrelevant to us in the approach plate regarding uh, circling, localizer only, etc. We're not going to expect the glass slope to fail, but of course I would have uh, briefed that uh, just in case in real life uh, in advance. And we had the missed approach altitude set uh, after we captured the glide slope, as I had mentioned before, in case I need to go missed which will happen in later ratings. I'll show you how to use, or how to go missed using the Garmin 1000. Also going to make life much easier. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching uh, the i2 rating on Pilot Edge, uh, and uh, we'll continue with future videos for the rest of the ratings. And please go back again to the first video in order to see which add-ons I'm using for weather, for the G1000, and how to connect to full flight, etc. It'll be uh, very informative uh, for you. Uh, to know what could really help you pass those ratings easily and have a good experience in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on Palatech. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.